Okay, we're going to work this problem on the human cannonball right here. But before we do, I want to show you where I got this problem from. So let's go to the computer right now and take a look. So here's where I got the problem. I found this ad online and it's an ad for David Smith Jr. The human cannonball. He calls himself the bullet and he's going to be shot out of a cannon at a county fair and look down here. It says he blasts into the air, flies an average distance of 160 feet and a height of 60 to 70 feet and lands in his pre-positioned safety net. So just with those two numbers, it turns out the 160 feet that he flies and the 70 feet he goes in the air, we can find the equation for his path just using algebra. So here's a little diagram of the situation. He's shot out of the cannon here. He lands in the safety net here. He travels a distance of 160 feet and goes to a height of 70 feet. Well, then we know that the equation of a parabola is going to be y equal a times x minus h squared plus k, where h and k are the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola. What are, what are, well, what are the coordinates of that point? Well, that point has coordinates x equals 70. Whoops, take that back. x equals 80, y equals 70, because if he goes from here to here and that's 160, the vertex will appear halfway and that's going to be at 80 feet. So when x is equal to 80 and y is equal to 70, we get the vertex of that parabola. So we've got these two constants right here taken care of. I'll rewrite the equation as y equals a times x minus 80 quantity squared plus 70. So all I have left to do now is find A. And in order to do that, all I need is one other point on the curve other than this point right here. Well, let's make it easy on ourselves and take the origin, zero, zero. So when X is equal to zero and Y is equal to zero, we have zero equal A times zero minus 80, which is negative 80 squared plus 70. Well, if I square 80 right here, I'm gonna get 6,400. So A times 6,400 plus 70. Now all I have to do is solve this equation for A. So I'll subtract 70 from both sides, divide by 6,400, and I'll end up with A is equal to negative 70 divided by 6,400. I'll reduce that by dividing both numerator and denominator by 10, so negative 70 over 640. So now I have my complete equation. I'll go back here and I end up with y is equal to negative 7 over 640 times x minus 80 quantity squared plus 70. And that describes the path of David Smith Jr. as he shot out of the cannon at that county fair exactly. So that's a pretty simple process here. We have to bring in this equation from algebra. That's the only review part of this, but then the rest of it is pretty simple. Now, before we go, I wanna take you back uh, to the computer and show you uh, a video of one of David Smith Jr.'s actual cannon shots at a county fair. So let's take a look. So that's pretty wild. He shoots himself out of a cannon over a Ferris wheel at a county fair. So as we go on in trigonometry, you're going to find that with just those two numbers from this ad for that county fair for David Smith Jr., there's all kinds of other information we can find out about the path he takes in that flight using just those two numbers in the trigonometry that we're going to learn.